Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. And the Daily Prophetic Word for Friday, the 27th of December 2019 is The Church Age Has Ended. Do you see the shift? Do you realize that the old ways have passed away and that you need to walk a new path? Your church age, as you have known it, has ended. And now the restoration of my true church that serves me with zeal has started. The church age has ended. No institution, no buildings, no structures, but equality, humility and faith. My new church is walking in spirit and truth. They are coming together in homes, apartments, meeting places, and they serve their neighborhoods with the love of my father. In the same way as I have done it, the church age has ended. They come together in love, unity and support. They share resources, support one another in any situation and lift up the needy and nameless. My new church is filled with the Holy Spirit, ready to take their crosses and follow me. A church that is built on the rock and protected by my angels. A church of wonders and miracles. And this was a daily prophetic word given for Friday, the 27th of December 2019. The church age has ended. Brothers and sisters, I know many people do not want to acknowledge that there is no power anymore in their churches. Because this is the only place that they have left. They know that the world has become dark. So they cling to their churches and to their pastors, to every word that he is ushering and to all what is done in the church because this is their only hold. Because they have never done, never received the transformation towards our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The only one that is saving you is Jesus. So you have to build a relationship with Jesus Christ alone because only through him we will reach the Father. Not through the pastor, not through a church, not through a building, not through a congregation. No, only through Jesus. Talk to Jesus every day. Pray to him and also talk to him just normal. Do not have to pray all the time, but when it comes to something, you have a question, ask Jesus, ask Jesus, either in your mind or even aloud, ask him. Be in a relationship with him. Think about him 24 hours a day. He, we are co heirs with him. And if co heirs then heirs to the heavenly kingdom. We are made in the image of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Read Genesis. People, we are supernatural. We are the church. We are the true sons and daughters of the Most High. We do not need a church. The church age has ended. There is no power, no glory and no miracles anymore in the churches. Now it's the time to come out, to separate yourself from Babylon, the false church system that we have. It was never attended or, or intended. It was never intended that there should be institutions that were led by one person who holds a lot of power. It was never intended to be a religion. It was always about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and about him and the Father alone, about the heavenly kingdom. That's the reason why Jesus sent us a helper, the Holy Spirit, so that the apostles <coughs> could go forth in great power and glory and with miracles and gather the people together. And where were they gathered together? In churches, in institutions, in religion? Of course not. They all came together in home churches, in dwelling places of Zion, in powerful meeting places, in powerful assemblies, where they shared resources, where they came together, where they loved one another, and, and where they helped the widows, the orphans, the needy in their neighborhoods. They did sacrifices every day. They sacrificed their world for the heavenly kingdom. They sacrificed their resources for the needs of others. This is what we have to go back to. We have to walk with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Has he not done the same? Has he not spent every day to teach and train the people and to lift them up and to 
help them with wonders and miracles. Think about the feeding of the 5,000. He provided food for them. Or he healed the sick. He was doing everything every day. Every day he sacrificed himself for the masses. And this is what we also have to do. Come together in love, unity and support. This church age has ended. There will be nothing coming anymore in a building. There will be nothing coming anymore through your statues. There will be nothing coming anymore through a wooden cross that you have er erected. Now it's the time to stand with the Lord, with him together as a bride. Stand together close to him and embrace him. Abide in him and he will abide in you. The Lord will and the Father will live in your heart. We are the church and we are supernatural. Now it's the time to accept it, that a change must be done, a restoration of all things has to be done. We are moving towards paradise. I have made a video called, it is everything about paradise. Watch it. This is the truth. We are moving back to paradise. If you read the Bible, what is the end of it? A new heaven and a new earth, and that is paradise. We came from paradise, we spoiled paradise, we had a midpoint, and now we are moving back to paradise. Jesus is coming, his spirit first, and then he will come physically. And when he comes physically, he will establish a millennium, a dress rehearsal of the paradise system. And then he will come, and we have a 1000 year millennium, and after that, Satan will be destroyed, and then there will be a new heaven and a new earth and a new paradise and everything perfect forever and ever. Read your Bibles, people. The Lord said, if you believe in me and abide in me and obey me and follow me and take your cross and give up all your riches and all your worldly careers and everything worldly and all the temptations, then you will be co heirs with him. And if co heirs then what are you? A prince of the heavenly kingdom or a princess of the heavenly kingdom. A true son and daughter of the Most High. So come out of the churches, out of this false Babylonian system. Come out of the world. Forget about your careers. A new Pharaoh is coming. He will destroy your careers if you do not take the mark and you will die. But you can come out and you can come in the dwelling places of Zion and you can gather the people together in love, unity and support and you can walk with them together in the great exodus towards the holy mountain, Mount Zion, where we all will be raptured into paradise at the sixth seal. Walk with us. If you have any questions, send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word and I hope you will come again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.